In today's mobility training tip, I will be sharing another exercise from the 90-90 position. And this is great for overall just getting our hips to open up for the day, be able to ground our energy through our core and out through the rest of our body. If our hips aren't mobile and we don't have a great active control of our hips, it's going to be very hard to not only uh, be a good athlete, perform well at a high level in whatever sport we're looking to do, but in overall life, your hips are clunky, not working very well, not very oiled. You're going to have trouble, I think, uh, having a good quality of life because we sit a lot and all that adds up. And so doing this type of work is going to help negate that and help you be more vibrant, more healthy, etc. Okay, so we're in the 90 90 position like we did before. And the past videos that I've covered, you want to try to do those in order. So the one where we're here and we're pushing our knee down and we're pushing our foot, keeping our shin towards our toes towards our shin, we're pushing down on the ground, we're pushing ourselves over. Okay, so you do that one. Then we've done this one here where we're holding in an isometric contraction, feeling the outer, outer part of the head, keeping our head stacked over our hips. Those prime you for this one where we're going to be here, chest up, still, same setup. Then we're going to move and create some active control of our leg. So previously we've done a lot of pure isometric work to open up the hips. Now we're going to exhibit active control of our hip. And so I'm doing this active control. Notice I keep repeating that. Think about what it means, active control. Okay, so we're not only exhibiting strength, but we're moving it through the full range of motion here, okay? And by doing that, it's going to allow us to have hips that work a little bit more like hands. So for my jiu-jitsu guys, again, I'm just resetting on the opposite side. For my jiu-jitsu guys out there, you know, you're in a sport where it's very complex. Your feet need to be able to do a lot of different things. They need to be able to orientate. And your hips need to be strong in weird positions. What better way than to train yourself through full range of motion? I can't think of it. Okay? In all other sports, your hips need to be able to move fluidly, strong, whatever. Apply this. Get yourself here first. Here. And really focus on that toe. Coming closer to your shin, I always repeat this. Engage that shin muscle, the tibialis anterior. And bring yourself around here. Hope that tip treats you well, guys. I have some big things coming up in the new year. For one, I will be getting a new camera. I know I've been lacking a little bit in that technical side of the department. But I'm shopping right now, looking for something good and new. Hoping to bring you a lot of good performance training tips this year. It's all about helping you move better, move more freely, the more vital, perform better. That's the goal. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with a friend. I mean a lot. I'm putting my heart into this work so it can help you. So it mean a lot of you help me uh, get the word out a little more. So appreciate it. Have a good day, guys. Peace.